Cornell Law School. UCC, Article 2A, Leases, Part 2. Formation and Construction of Lease Contract. Paragraph 2A-212. Implied Warranty of Merchantability. 1. Except in a finance lease, a warranty that the goods will be merchant able is implied in a lease contract if the lessor is a merchant with respect to goods of that kind. 2. Goods to be merchant able must be at least such as a. Pass without objection in the trade under the description in the lease agreement, b. In the case of fungible goods, are of fair average quality within the description, c. Are fit for the ordinary purposes for which goods of that type are used, D. Run, within the variation permitted by the lease agreement, of even kind, quality, and quantity within each unit and among all units involved, E. Are adequately contained, packaged, and labeled as the lease agreement may require, and F. Conform to any promises or affirmations of fact made on the container or label. 3. Other implied warranties may arise from course of dealing or usage of trade. Paragraph 2A-213 Implied warranty of fitness for a particular purpose. Except in a finance lease, if the lesser at the time the lease contract is made has reason to know of any particular purpose for which the goods are required and that the leasee is relying on the lesser's skill or judgment to select or furnish suitable goods, there is in the lease contract an implied warranty that the goods will be fit for that purpose. Paragraph 2A-214 Exclusion or Modification of Warranties 1. Words or conduct relevant to the creation of an express warranty and words or conduct tending to negate or limit a warranty must be construed wherever reasonable as consistent with each other, but, subject to the provisions of Section 2A202 on parole or extrinsic evidence, Negation or limitation is inoperative to the extent that the construction is unreasonable. 2. Subject to subsection 3. To exclude or modify the implied warranty of merchantability or any part of it the language must mention merchantability, be by writing, and be conspicuous. Subject to subsection 3. To exclude or modify any implied warranty of fitness the exclusion must be by writing and be conspicuous. Language to exclude all implied warranties of fitness is sufficient if it is in writing, is conspicuous in states, for example, there is no warranty that the goods will be fit for a particular purpose. 3. Notwithstanding subsection 2, but subject to subsection 4, a. Unless the circumstances indicate otherwise, all implied warranties are excluded by expressions like, as is, or, with all faults, or by other language that in common understanding calls the leasee's attention to the exclusion of warranties and makes plain that there is no implied warranty, if in writing and conspicuous, b. If the leasee before entering into the lease contract has examined the goods or the sample or model as fully as desired or has refused to examine the goods, there is no implied warranty with regard to defects that an examination not in the circumstances to have revealed and c an implied warranty may also be excluded or modified by course of dealing course of performance or usage of trade four to exclude or modify a warranty against interference or against infringement section 2a-211 or any part of it the language must be specific be by writing and be conspicuous unless the circumstances including course of performance course of dealing or usage of trade, give the leasee reason to know that the goods are being leased subject to a claim or interest of any person. Paragraph 2A-215 C-U-M-U-L-A-T-I-O-N In conflict of warranties express or implied. Warranties, whether express or implied, must be construed as consistent with each other and as cumulative, but if that construction is unreasonable, the intention of the parties determines which warranty is dominant. In ascertaining that intention the following rules apply, a. Exact or technical specifications displace an inconsistent sample or model or general language of description. b. A sample from an existing bulk displaces inconsistent general language of description. C. Express warranties displacing consistent implied warranties other than an implied warranty of fitness for a particular purpose.
Paragraph 2A-216. Third-party beneficiaries of express and implied warranties. Less than RD. Subfile 1 greater than alternative A warranty to work for the benefit of a leasee under this article, whether express or implied, extends to any natural person who is in the family or household of the leasee or who is a guest in the leasee's home if it is reasonable to expect that such person may use, consume, or be affected by the goods and who is injured in person by a breach of the warranty. This section does not displace principles of law and equity that extend a warranty to or for the benefit of a leasee to other persons. The operation of this section may not be excluded, modified, or limited, but an exclusion, modification, or limitation of the warranty, including any with respect to rights and remedies, effective against the leasee is also effective against any beneficiary designated under this section. Less than nerd D. Subfile 1 greater than alternative BA warranty to or for the benefit of a leasee under this article, whether express or implied, extends to any natural person who may reasonably be expected to use, consume, or be affected by the goods and who is injured in person by a breach of the warranty. This section does not displace principles of law and equity that extend a warranty to or for the benefit of a leasee to other persons. The operation of this section may not be excluded, modified, or limited, but an exclusion, modification, or limitation of the warranty, including any with respect to rights and remedies, effective against the leasee is also effective against the beneficiary designated under this section. Less than nerd D. Subfile 1 greater than alternative CE warranty to or for the benefit of a leasee under this article, whether express or implied, extends to any person who may reasonably be expected to use, consume, or be affected by the goods and who is injured by breach of the warranty. The operation of this section may not be excluded, modified, or limited with respect to injury to the person of an individual to whom the warranty extends, but an exclusion, modification, or limitation of the warranty including any with respect to rights and remedies, effective against the leasee is also effective against the beneficiary designated under this section. Paragraph 2A-217 Identification Identification of goods as goods to which a lease contract refers may be made at any time and in any manner explicitly agreed to by the parties. In the absence of explicit agreement, Identification occurs a. when the lease contract is made if the lease contract is for a lease of goods that are existing and identified b. when the goods are shipped, marked, or otherwise designated by the lesser as goods to which the lease contract refers if the lease contract is for a lease of goods that are not existing and identified or c. when the young are conceived if the lease contract is for a lease of unborn young of animals. Paragraph 2A-218 Insurance and Proceeds 1. A leasee obtains an insurable interest when existing goods are identified to the lease contract even though the goods identified are non-conforming and the leasee has an option to reject them. 2. If a leasee has an insurable interest only by reason of the lessor's identification of the goods, the lesser, until default or insolvency or notification to the leasee that identification is final, may substitute other goods for those identified. 3. Notwithstanding a leasee's insurable interest under subsections 1 and 2, the lesser retains an insurable interest until an option to buy has been exercised by the leasee and risk of loss has passed to the leasee. 4. Nothing in this section impairs any insurable interest recognized under any other statute or rule of law. 5. The parties by agreement may determine that one or more parties have an obligation to obtain and pay for insurance covering the goods and by agreement may determine the beneficiary of the proceeds of the insurance. Paragraph 2A-219 Risk of Loss 1. Except in the case of a finance lease, risk of loss is retained by the lessor and does not pass to the leasee. In the case of a finance lease, risk of loss passes to the leasee. 2. Subject to the provisions of this article on the effect of default on risk of loss section. 2A-220, if risk of loss is to pass to the lessee and the time of passage is not stated. The following rules apply, 
A. If the lease contract requires or authorizes the goods to be shipped by carrier, I. And it does not require delivery at a particular destination, the risk of loss passes to the leasee when the goods are duly delivered to the carrier. But, 2. If it does require delivery at a particular destination and the goods are there duly tendered while in the possession of the carrier, the risk of loss passes to the leasee when the goods are there duly so tendered as to enable the leasee to take delivery. B. If the goods are held by a bailey to be delivered without being moved, the risk of loss passes to the lessee in acknowledgement by the bailey of the leasee's right to possession of the goods. C. In any case not within subsection A or B, the risk of loss passes to the leasee on the leasee's receipt of the goods if the lessor or, in the case of a finance lease, the supplier is a merchant, otherwise the risk passes to the leasee on tender of delivery. Paragraph 2A-220 Effect of default on risk of loss 1. Where risk of loss is to pass to the lessee and the time of passage is not stated. A. If a tender or delivery of goods so fails to conform to the lease contract as to give a right of rejection, the risk of their loss remains with the lessor, or, in the case of a finance lease, the supplier, until cure or acceptance. B. If the leasee rightfully revokes acceptance, he, or she, to the extent of any deficiency in his, or her, effective insurance coverage, may treat the risk of loss as having remained with the lessor from the beginning. 2. Whether or not risk of loss is to pass to the leasee, if the leasee as to conforming goods already identified to a lease contract repudiates or is otherwise in default under the lease contract, the lesser, or, in the case of a finance lease, the supplier, to the extent of any deficiency in his, or her, effective insurance coverage may treat the risk of loss as resting on the leasee for a commercially reasonable time. Paragraph 2A-221 Casualty to identify goods If a lease contract requires goods identified when the lease contract is made, and the goods suffer casually without fault of the leasee, the lesser or the supplier before delivery, or the goods suffer casualty before risk of loss passes to the leasee pursuant to the lease agreement or section 2A-219, then, A, if the loss is total, the lease contract is avoided, and, B, if the loss is partial or the goods have so deteriorated as to no longer conform to the lease contract, the leasee may nevertheless demand inspection and at his, or her, option either treat the lease contract as avoided or, except in a finance lease that is not a consumer lease, accept the goods with due allowance from the rent payable for the balance of the lease term for the deterioration or the deficiency in quantity but without further right against the lesser.